Uh, hi, Uncivilized Vitality here. Um, wanted to do a, um, an unboxing video of sorts. I got excited and, un and uh, unboxed it myself, but then I, I put the tape back down. I haven't opened it up yet. I got my new um, sling from uh, Pan, uh, All Wild Slings. And uh, normally I just use paracord and a couple pieces of leather, or I'll weave one together and make a, a sling. Uh, we've done that as a craft project a lot for sling and spear tools. And as a matter of fact, I also got my new book, which is uh, Sling Braiding, uh, Traditions and Techniques from Peru, Bolivia, and Around the World. And this book, uh, it's a comprehensive full color guide, features, features dozens of images of slings from various cultures, both ancient and contemporary. This is the largest and best book on slings I've ever found. It's got all the patterns. It's got the split pouch style, the woven pouch style, the pierced pouch, the boat pouch. It's got uh, a great discussion of slings, so I'm looking forward to that. But I dragged my wife out here this morning so I could do this unboxing video. So pretend I ripped it out of the paper and I, I cut that paper. Uh, cool box though for a sling. I've ordered other slings online and they just come uh, in a package or just, uh, you know, in a little plastic bag. This is a uh, pan. They've got a weird little, little logo there, somewhat Faustian. And then they're at panslings.com and they've got a YouTube channel at panslings. And uh, it's a really good, one of, the, one of the better slinging channels. I don't know if it's newer or just a smaller channel, but it's really uh, cool. You need to check that out. We'll put some links and uh, best made in the USA. All right, so you open up this really cool box and this is what we have inside there. Um, the sling itself, which is wrapped on the spool. We'll talk about that in a second. It's got a little package here with, um, this must be the training ball they send and a little bit of <laughs> a little sling wax. It's got a little QR code there, so hopefully the video will not take that off. I don't know if videos do that. A little sling wax for the leather. And then it's got this little weighted, slightly weighted uh, ball. So you can practice your slinging and, uh, release technique before you start throwing rocks around. That's probably a good idea. You can learn the sling like uh, my four boys did, just at the river and let them <laughs> Let them fling stones around until somebody got the hang of it. Not the, not the best way to do that. All right, uh, what else we get? We get a little sticker from Pan, All Wild Slings. That's cool. And what else is in the box? All right. And then at the bottom of the box is, that's it, is a little postcard. Uh, this is pretty cool. Caring for your sling. Pan sling has been built to last. However, you will still need to provide some occasional TLC to keep your sling looking good and slinging well into the future. Avoid throwing dirty or wet projectiles and store in a clean, dry environment. And then it's got a little, little bit about cleaning and conditioning, soft a bristle brush to clean off the dirt, wipe with a damp soapy cloth, cloth and buff to a dry, buff with a dry cloth. Man, is it early in the morning. <clears throat> also, I can add a pan cracker to my sling for that whip crack feedback. Uh, limited time offer, 20% off. I can use this or share that code while it lasts. And then uh, getting started. And then it's got a couple of QR codes, how to grip the sling and then learning how to sling. I've watched his videos. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. They're well done, really well done. So that's all that came in the box. Sticker, the postcard, everything in there. I'll set that off to the side. Well, I might need that trainer in a minute. Let's look at the sling itself. I was interested about this. Um, you can't buy just a sling. It comes in these packages like this. So I think this was around uh, 68, starts about $68. Then you choose your colors and um, lengths and things. So it's got this little, it's probably a warning label. Let's see, warning, slinging can produce very powerful forces and at times, is, and at times in unintended directions or with unintended results. Slings must be used responsibly. Adult supervision required. Eh, you're going to have to stand in for the adult there, wife. The sling must be inspected before each use for signs of damage. Slings should not be used if any damage is present. Those using a sling must do so at their own risk. So I'm assuming that's just uh, some boilerplate uh, responsibility. You should probably know that the sling, although some people think of it as a toy, is actually an ancient weapon. And uh, with a little practice can be very effective for hunting or, or self-defense. So, it's got this little 
this little logo and this little feels like a like a plastic uh, some kind of 3d printed plastic probably okay it unwinds off of there Whoop. let's look at the actual spool here for a moment it's got that little recess there for the, the finger tab to go in they just wind your spool or your your sling around it gives you a place to keep it on the bottom of the spool is this little key that pops out I don't know if you can see that at all. This little key, and I know that this is meant to uh, wrap your spool around as well. Uh, I'm not sure how, honestly. Uh, I know that he's got this demonstrated on one of the videos. It's just like a little pocket carry system in case you don't want to carry the spool. Maybe you can store them at home like this on the spool. And then this little key is for keeping your sling from getting all ra um, wrapped up and twisted up in your pocket like uh, those old headphone cords used to do. So it's got that little neat accessory. And then when you get done with your sling after it's dry, you tuck the finger tab in that little, that little cave there and you just wind your spool around, or you wind your sling around the spool, flattening out the pouch and just wrap it all the way around, flatten out the retention pouch. And then when you get to the end of your spool, you find the closest notch here and you just sort of tack that through. And now you've got, that's a pretty neat little package, good way to keep your sling. And then it's got that little travel or pocket carry clip on the bottom, which I don't know how to do. I'll have to go and watch the videos. And um, I know also that he showed a way to wrap this around your wrist so you could carry it. And he wrapped that around in the two directions. And then I believe he used the, the little carabiner on here to kind of snap onto that cord, maybe move the finger tab down. But you could transport your sling on your wrist like that too. All right, so let's talk about the sling a little bit more. And then we'll, uh, we'll roll in some footage of flinging some stones out. So start at the retention end. So this is the retention cord. It's got this little carabiner on the end. A little carabiner. And then uh, it's paracord. And it moves down. It's got this little sliding leather. Sliding leather. Uh, it kind of looks like a miniature pouch, but I know this is the finger loop. I've seen that on the video. It's kind of a neat, uh, I'll show you that in a second. Kind of a neat idea. Then we move down, there's a little decorative uh, whipping there in the middle of the cord. And some more of these, some sort of high impact uh, plastic decorative parts down here where the retention cord attaches to the two pouches. And it is a, a split pouch style sling. It's got a little pan symbol stamped on the sling there too. Yeah, good quality leather, really thick, uh, robust leather. And then on the release cord side, he's used, I'm not sure how he did that. It looks like some sort of like a hot plastic injection along the, the release cord. And on most slings, this is usually where you're going to see the most wear and tears on the, the release cord as the projectile or rock rolls from the pouches. That's where you see the most wear and tears on that side. <clears throat> More decorative whipping all the way to the end. And he uses a tab style release. Uh, there's different types of releases. Most of the time when I'm making just quick slings, I just use a knot in the end of my paracord. You can also, if you're braiding, taper it down to a smooth uh, or knotless uh, release. And then some people use a little piece of leather just to get a grip on it. And then you can move that uh, up or down depending on your uh, preference. All right, so that's the sling. And I'll show you this uh, neat way. It doesn't have a loop on the end. So the way this goes is you're going to put this leather pad over your release finger and you tighten that down and then you just use that little carabiner to cinch the loop. Can you see how that works? Okay. And it cinch that gives me my loop so I can, that's actually pretty comfortable. It's a little more comfortable than uh, this my usual paracord knot. Okay. And then of course my uh, retention cord is held by that little tab. Okay. And I can adjust that slightly depending on different circumstances to make sure that the cord is even with the pouch. And then, oh, 
this little practice ball, this retention pouch, these split pouches are large enough that you could uh, you could use this with tennis balls, which is always fun to sling tennis balls around, right? A little safer than rocks, but you could use that retention, or sorry, that uh, that practice ball to practice moving your sling around in a circle. And then like most slings, it's the force, the spinning force, the centripetal, <laughs> there goes my practice rock, the centripetal force that holds that in place. So. Yeah. I won't do this because the camera and my wife are really close, but you just release in the direction you want that to go and off it goes. We'll have to roll some footage in, but we're at home right now and she frowns on me flinging rocks around uh, toward the neighbors or the the yard at the end of the road. Well, it's, I mean, it's a good 50, 60 yards, so I still hit it. So speaking of um, ammunition, here's some good examples of, of slinging stones. You want it to be not too big, but not too small, so they fly through the pouch and sort of oblong. Like this would be a great slinging stone. Okay. We'll do a whole other video on how to um, how to load the pouch, load your pouch up and such. But you can see that it sits just across that leather, and then the leather sort of hugs that. And with a split pouch, the slightly oblong stones work better than the round stones. I don't know if you can see that. And then when I was spinning around, then I would grab this and whirl it overhead. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do it. I whirl it overhead, and as I release that, I let go of that uh, release cord at the point I want it to go, the release cord opens up, the rock would roll free and sail right onto my target. Or in my case, in the general vicinity of my target. But uh, I'm dead accurate. I can usually get within 20 or 30 feet of what I'm aiming at with a sling. So uh, let's roll in some footage now of me using my new pan sling. And uh, while you're waiting for the footage to roll in, actually there won't be much of a delay in the video. But either way, go check out pan, panslings.com or his um, YouTube channel and learn more about slinging. And then uh, after I get my new braiding book out and I braid a couple others. We'll do another video about that. Where'd my spool go? All right, so we're done slinging. Let me park that back in that little garage. Wind the sling up after making sure it stayed nice and clean. That is pretty slick. Just the spool alone. I'm surprised the spool came. Actually, I thought I was just buying um, one of those nifty slings after watching, discovering his channel because uh, I was searching for things about slings to watch because I just like watching people sling. Uh, after finding that channel, I was pretty surprised it came with the spool. I thought that was uh, like those were accessories or add-ons. I just popped it right in there. Yeah, cool. All right, panslings.com, and then uh, we'll roll in some footage of me uh, flinging these rocks over at the river. So that's it. All right, let's go down this trail to the river. Try out our sling. And then oh, a couple of a couple of sling rocks right there. Too small. Here's one. All right. All right. And then we get down here to the the river. And we can go right over here and film a couple throws. All right. Let's hit this set up. All right, hopefully this can still hear me. Oh, I had the microphone on, so. Do a couple throws down here if the camera can see me. One of those big rocks I just picked up. Put that right in the split pouch. And there are several different ways to throw a sling. 
Let me adjust this release cord a little bit, this release tab. I'm just going to use a real basic way, just around the head once, and then, and then we're just going to release the sling. All right, first one was kind of sloppy, right into the river. Load this next stone up. And we'll try it underhand this time. Whoa, that one went way over. Yeah, that one made it almost across the river. I wonder if you could see that. I should probably get out of the way. All right, so this is the first time using my new pan sling. This takes a little bit of getting used to, like any new sling. It's got a satisfying snap when it comes around. As a kid, uh, we used to throw, we used to make slings out of uh, yarn and leather, or leather, leather um, pieces of cord and uh, old pouches and fling uh, crab apples at each other. So the sling can be good, like I said, it, it is a toy, like we played with as kids, but it's also, um, I don't say an ancient weapon, but it's a, a time-honored uh, weapon human beings have used. Uh, in, interestingly enough, just like my book, um, Peruvian, uh, Bolivian, they have um, Northern Africa. There's evidence of slings. Of course, the Roman Empire, when you think of slings, you think uh, uh, David and Goliath. So you think all around the Mediterranean and the Middle East. Uh, the Russians used slings. The Native Americans used slings. So it's interesting that all uh, pre-civilized people came up with a sling in all parts of the world and uh, this one's pretty cool there we go that's my last rock and finally one good release so like share subscribe and check out the other uh, other sling videos we have Yeah. <laughs> 